Hello, I am Varigata Gaming, and this is Zero Degrees North, Zero Degrees West, a surrealist symphony of simply astounding visuals. It looks as though we are being taken somewhere. I'll meet you when we get there. Hello, and welcome to Zero Degrees North, Zero Degrees West. An empty town, which is nonetheless a starting point for many adventures. We have just completed our journey to reach this stage. We've travelled many miles, we've travelled through empty countryside, past many others in their cars, on our route to reach this small town, this small, empty, yet atmospheric town. I don't feel sad here, it doesn't feel empty in a sad way, but it does feel as though it's waiting for something, maybe, or possibly that's a bit too deep. I do wonder why this gentleman is going on this journey. I don't know if he's trying to reach somewhere, or escape, or maybe he just fancied a weekend away but I am sure we will find out. You can see my friend Mr V popping up in the bottom right hand corner there. I do apologise. I do need to sort out my Steam settings so that does not happen. But he does have his own YouTube channel so you can go and have a look at that as well. A little bit of advertisement there for you V. This town feels very... like a, a very old Western American town that's survived into the present day. Some houses at the end, and a vast emptiness beyond it.
Shall we continue to explore? Or shall we go into the very bright flashing cinema that's clearly inviting us in? Let's go to the cinema. Film posters out the front, advertising solitude. Let's go inside. Can I go through this door? Can I buy some popcorn? Looks like someone's left a still hot cup of coffee on the side. What's this? Never seen this film before. With a jolt. We have left the cinema and entered whatever this place is, a dark, monotonous, never-ending corridor of anonymous doors leading into anonymous places, aka my office, uh, I don't know. It does seem to be stretching on. I wonder if it ever ends. Shall we keep looking? Or shall we choose a door and see what's on the other side? I think we should choose a door. This one looks good. fractured, neon, abstract, starry night sky. Ooh, and we can jump. Perhaps a star that's just exploded. Perhaps something has just crashed into the surface of this planet. Is that what all these shards are? Is that haunting music? <laughs> or is it just the sound of my fan getting all excited with me? This is a new laptop, but it appears to be, uh, well, hopefully, not struggling. Quite pleased that we can jump. It's not just a, a normal walking simulator where you stroll from place to place. This it's very inventive with its uh, with its movement as well as with its style. Is this a river? Am 
I going to get lost? Am I ever going to make it out of here alive? Is that white rectangle in the distance another door? Should we go another look? Towering trees, blue towering trees. That's what I'm seeing. And the movement is just another way of showing the leaves, maybe. I think this is a door, perhaps. Shall we see where it leads? Is that a door? Mm, yes, it is. Well, shall, I go, shall I go this way or shall I go towards the light? A house looks like a flat, maybe. A new build, flat, in a city. That's what I'm thinking. New build flat in a city where time ooh, no longer has meaning and you are visited by bright streams of light constantly flashing in your windows. There's never any proper darkness in a city, never any proper silence. I can leave and enter the grey streets. Shall I follow the light? Shall I try and make my own way? Or shall I go back inside? Quite tell where the ground is, and I also have absolutely no idea of knowing where the next door is either. Is this a height? Can I get up here? I can. Yeah, this is a this this is a city. I reckon this is a city. I can see uh, trams or tubes or buses. That's what they are, those moving sort of rectangular blocks. Towering skyscrapers, you can't really see proper light, natural light. Very confusing. Uh, <coughs> I do not know how to get out. Oh, I also can't get down. Oh, I can get down. I was not expecting that. I, I don't know, did I just get hit by a bus in this city? And now I've been taken to Tron? I've, I've entered the world of Tron. Can I jump? I can still... Oh, I've, oh. That was a moon jump, that was... Uh, 
what does this symbolise? Feels a little bit like another office, but maybe that's not quite. Empty and abandoned. Oh, it feels a bit like uh, something out of Star Wars, maybe, or Star Trek. Um, the navigation. This feels a bit like uh, if you were looking at a, navig a futuristic navigation screen and all the lines are pointing towards where you need to go. Oh, bloody hell, sorry. <laughs> we're off again. Ooh. Another screenshot. Playground? Playgroup? Is anything moving? There's little things moving. Uh, ooh, I'm moving a bit quicker. What's this? Boxes of food? Gifts? Is that a bed? That looks like a bed, maybe, on the floor. Books? A clock? This clock is actually on the wall. Not slumped on the side as it was in that room we visited earlier. What's in the shelves? Can I jump? Ooh, I can get in the shelving. That's exciting. More shelving? What's through here? Tub, bath tub. Uh, this is a bathroom, I reckon. Can I go outside? Is this a balcony? Yes, it is. Wow. Ah. It's a little flat, it's another little flat. This one's a bit jazzier. A bit more snazzy. A bit more life to it. A bit happier? Or does this just mean more confusing? Do you reckon? Uh, shall I go through this? Is that the way we came? Can I go through this? No, I cannot go through this. Okay. Can I go through this? No. Hmm. Why can I not go through this? Okay. Um, how do we get out? Is it secretly a trap? I mean, I said it was jazzier and happier and all that sort of stuff, but maybe it's... Oh, stairs. Oh. Where do we go? Oops. Maybe it's just a con. Maybe it's not jazzier and happier. We have to work to get out. Ooh, it looks like this spiral staircase goes up as well as down. Shall I go down or up? Let's go down. Down, 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 down into this, whatever this is. Is this going to take us anywhere or is it an end? No. Oh, interesting. Okay, pop, 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 pop back up again then. Pop, 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 pop. Up, 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 up. Is that green triangle? Green triangle is the best chocolate in the selection box. Can I go out here? No. Hmm. Can I fall off? Yes. Ah, ooh, bang. Ooh. Oh god, I'm a fool in a How do we get back out? Can I get back out? Can I get back out? I can. Ooh. A walkway. way. Where does this go? Production line? This is fascinating. This reminds me a little bit... Uh, I don't know if any of you have played a game called The Stanley Parable. This reminds me a little bit of that game. Um, a, a, a man is trapped 
Oh, I think he's trapped, trapped in an office and he has to um, sort of, it, it, you, you move him around and, oh, oh. Uh, well, you, oh, this is not being inside glittery wrapping paper or cellophane. Uh, anyway, the Stanley Parable, you, you move around uh, a, a forgotten office attempting to help Stanley survive, basically, and it's completely empty. It's just you moving Stanley and whilst you listen to a disembodied voice. And I found it terrifying, I won't lie. I don't think it was meant to be. Another bedroom. But yes, this reminds me of Stanley Parable, the sort of emptiness, um, abstractness, the fact that it's just you moving things around, moving a person around. You never see the person, you don't know where you're going, you don't know what the end goal is. Uh, it's very sort of, um, I suppose, psychologically disturbing. No, I don't think this game is, but the Stanley Parable definitely is. And I, I just feel that it, this sort of draws parallels a bit with it. Uh, also with another game that I've completely forgotten the name of uh, that involved you um, you were playing various mini games I believe uh, whilst another disembodied voice um, sort of guides you or talks about what it is that you're doing and discusses the fact that the game you're playing was actually made by one of his friends or something like that and you have to by the end i'm not entirely sure if the narrator is good or bad or neutral or anything like that i found that one a bit of a scary game as well but i am scared by literally everything so i mean i jump when the toaster pops up unexpectedly so it's not too difficult really but this uh, we appear to be in another representation of the same flat, although this time the surroundings seem to be slightly more obviously dystopian. You probably see in the distance those blue and red flashing cube cuboids, very clearly keeping watch with the spotlight, making sure nobody is getting up to no good. There's not one in this room with me, is there? Shall I try and get into the city a bit? version of the information superhighway. <gasps> what do the letters stand for? Are they spelling anything out? Ooh. Is that a shape in a window? Are there other people here? 